Officers predict a long, hard slog in their effort to solve the mystery of Madeleine McCann's disappearance. They've released two EFIT images of a man compiled in 2008, a year after she disappeared, but never seen in public until today. It's based on information from two witnesses who were staying in the Portuguese resort of Praia de Luz at the time. Our home affairs correspondent Simon Israel has more. These are two EFITs of the same man, a man who may hold the key to Madeleine McCann's disappearance. They've been shut away in a private investigator's file for five years. They were compiled from two eyewitness accounts on the night Madeleine disappeared, but never handed over to the Portuguese investigation. Now British police are treating them with the utmost importance. In our analysis of the timeline, 10 p.m. when this man was seen walking towards the ocean with a child in his arms has now become an important focus of interest for us. The man was a white man with dark hair and he had in his arms a child that was described as being between three and four years of age with blonde hair wearing pyjamas. This sighting took place markedly later than the police's previous analysis of when the three-year-old was abducted from apartment G5A in May 2007. It forms part of a well-worn story that's slowly being rewritten. A BBC Crime Watch programme tonight will contain what police describe as revelatory material. And Kate and Jerry McCann are interviewed once again about that fateful evening. We're not the ones that has done something wrong here. It's the person who's gone into that apartment and taken a little girl away from her family. I've just come from a preview of that Crime Watch reconstruction, but I can't reveal any of the details because it's under embargo until the programme is broadcast tonight. Needless to say, though, there is no flash of inspiration and the prospect of a conclusion to this investigation is not just around the corner. Yet again, the hunt for Madeleine's abductors is generating enormous publicity six years on. The £5 million police inquiry may also raise expectations for answers to her disappearance. We need the public's help. So I would ask the public to pause with us, to hear our appeal, and if you can help, please make contact with us. Do you anticipate this being a long, hard slog? We're working extremely hard on this case. We're absolutely committed to the work that we're doing, and we're fighting hard for Madeleine McCann. But yes, it is a hard slog, and we still have got some way to go. You think we'll be here in a year's time discussing this? I wouldn't want to speculate about time. It's been a long journey from the beaches of Portugal to yet another round of TV studio appeals. Not just here, but in Germany and Holland too. That's where many of the holidaymakers at the time came from.